I kind of want to go down there and try and fight him. Is that wrong of me? Do we want to? Do we want to give this a shot? Let's go. Oh, I already regret my decision heavily. Oh, we got a fat mama coming in. I should be trying to aim for headshots, but honestly, we're okay. A lot of them are stuck and they can't work their way around. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? CJ the Cheese DJ here, and Horde Night is about to begin. We're running, rounding up on 10 o'clock. I'm just clearing this field while we wait. I realize that if I climb up the top in the barn, the zombies aren't going to actually be able to reach me at all. Which means we can poke them off, but what I'm thinking is if we can sort of deal with some of them as we're running back and retreating to that point, we should be okay. Which is why I'm trying to clear this field. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? No. Oh, I should not have done that. Okay, I, I broke through there to go out and get some stuff. Alright, let's just... Oh my god. You know what? This is what we brought the pipe bombs for. This is what we brought the... No, no, no. I, I'm going to throw it without lighting it. Oh, please don't destroy everything. <laughs> this is terrifying. Enjoy, fellas. I hope this doesn't bring down the whole freaking area that we're standing on. Okay. Well, I mean, we should be okay up here. I don't think they have any way to get to us. And what I can do is we can actually stand up here and just, like... Fire from above, I guess. Which, I mean, it's it's working. I don't know. I can't remember how long Horde Night lasts for, but... I feel like I should probably move. I didn't kill any of them. We're definitely not going down there, though. Oh, here they all come. Look at them all. Alright, we've got a couple there. Just... <laughs> oh my god, there's a lot. What is that guy? Oh, he's just the one with the hood on? These two are just chilling in the corner. I don't think... Yeah, they don't have any way to get over to us, so I think setting up in the barn was another good idea. Done by yours truly. Oh man, that didn't go as far as I was expecting it to. Hold on to that for me, big fella. I like seeing the corpses bounce around. Alright, I mean, we're okay up here. Thankfully, they don't really have any access to get to us. They're trying their damn hardest, though, I can tell you that much. Look at them all. I didn't bring any food. No. Nope. Oh yeah, we got some corn. I'll eat some of that. That'll that'll tie us over. Hey fellas, all right. I'm gonna throw this one right over there. Nice. Got two of them, I think. I kind of want to go down there and try and fight them. Is that wrong of me? Do we wanna do we wanna give this a shot? Let's go. Oh, I already regret my decision heavily. Oh, we got a fat mama coming in. I should be trying to aim for headshots, but honestly, we're okay. A lot of them are stuck and they can't work their way around. Fat mama's dead. My friend is dead. Reload, reload, reload. All right, I'm just hoping we don't... Oh, shit. I was about to say, I'm hoping we don't get flanked. But I'm pretty sure I can't outrun these guys anyway. Alright, I got an idea. If we can do this, we should be able to reload some of these. Because they've got a couple of fences to have to jump over. Maybe this wasn't the best idea. I don't know. This is a fun idea, though. Reload this bad boy. I love this shotgun though, not gonna lie. Might have to do a bit of a run, run here. Hit someone. Keep running. Don't you stop moving, sir. Okay, I mean, there's not too many zombies left. I, I say that, but you watch like 20 more come out of the damn field. We're out of stamina here. It's fine, I can get some stamina back here. Alright. 
I think I'm missing. I can't run. I'm in danger. Oh shit, that fired quickly. Reload. Oh, there are more coming. Alright, as long as we don't take them into the house, we should be okay. That mama's dead. I thought she was dead. Never mind. She's still very much alive. I missed the nurse. Come on, come on, come on. I'm going to get... Oh, we need to run. Okay, this is intense. I probably should have of, uh, left that barn because if we needed a reprieve, we would have had it. But now we don't. Can't see anything. We're bleeding, but I still survived just barely. I'm going to try and make my way back over to the barn because, oh man. Yeah, we need a we need a little bit of a, re a reprieval. Run, 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 Forest, run. I haven't luckily taken any uh, like leg injuries or anything like that. Otherwise, then we'd definitely be screwed. Okay, we are outrunning them. That's fine. I shouldn't probably turn my back to them. Okay. All right. I mean, this is more fun than shacking up in a big thingy. But I mean, this is. I'm pretty sure this is all vanilla. I haven't changed the horde amount or anything like that, so... Yeah, okay, let's come back up here. Alright. Take one of those. I don't think I have a bandage for the laceration. That's fine. Alright, those painkillers should give us a bit of extra health. Uh, can't use that. Reload. There are definitely more of these zombies that are coming in as the night progresses. We've got a lot of them there, though. Should get that guy. Nice. Got him. No, I didn't kill him. Never mind. I don't know what they're trying to dig to to get to us, though. Like, what would possibly allow them to get up here? I kind of want to get back down there again. <laughs> Uh, I think that's bad of me. Alright, we're going to cure infection. Let's use one of those. Oh yeah, they just keep on coming, don't they? You guys hold on to that. That was our last pipe bomb. I'm hoping we get some. Oh yeah, 4k experience. That'll do the job. Alright, we need to try and make a run again for the door. I should have made sure that we had an escape route up here. I should be able to get through here. Once again, not my smartest idea to try and take them all on foot, but we're going to run with it. It's more entertaining this way, trying to run for our lives. Okay, running for our lives again. Oh, hello. Reload, reload. Run. Oh, we got him coming behind us. Okay, it's fine. We can lose him in the cornfield. Lose him in the cornfield. Double jump. Double jump. I like the little show that they do when they jump. All of them jumping together. It's great. We've got to be careful, Lee. Shit. I've got to be careful and not miss my shots. I don't know if I hit him. I'm not going to hang around and find out. We're just going to keep running around in circles here. I don't know if I hit them. I need to make a run for it though. I definitely hit the guy. The spear's moving around. Alright. I just need to try and get some stamina back here. And really reload some. I love seeing the spear floating around. I mean, good news is we haven't had to use any melee weapons, really. Is that it? Is that all of them? No, there was surely more. Looks like they're stuck trying to get to us, though. Shit. They are definitely uh, a lot scarier on, on nighttime when they run after. Okay. We've got another level up. Nice. Here he is. Come on, mate. 
There you go. Finally come to join your friends. I was expecting you to jump. Sledgehammer it is. Make sure there's nothing running up behind us. This is this is a fun horde night. I'm not, I might actually bump it up, to be honest, next time. Okay. I have a sneaking suspicion that that is all of them. I'm glad we made up the blunderbuss ammo, and I'm glad we made this shotgun, because it is a freaking lifesaver for us. But I think... No, we still got some more zombies coming after us. I can hear more. There's a lady there. There's a guy stuck in there somehow. Did we shoot your legs off? I think we shot one of your legs off. Okay, well, I mean... We might as well end up. We've got a bag here. Some more blunderbuss ammo, some crossbow bolts, and some money. Nice. There was another bag inside the thingy as well. I don't think there's... I love this pig just minding his own business. Not doing anything. He's just forgetful about the zombies. I, I kind of want to kill him, but at the same time, I don't. All right, we've got a couple of bags down here. Let's take a look. I think that's everyone for the... A ragged old treasure map. Serious treasure map. Okay. We got 715 cash, some more ammo. I don't think there were any more. I would say that's probably all of the bags. I mean, that was fun. I enjoyed that. <laughs> enjoyed running for my life and almost dying again. I don't see any more loot. But I would say that's most likely all the zombies. I would say so, yeah. It looks like that's all of them. Okay, what's this treasure map? If you found this note, this may be your lucky day. I've been bitten by one of the creatures and the fever has taken hold. I don't have long, but the least I could do before I turn is help someone, anyone. As God would want me to, if there is still a God. So I leave you with this map to one of my many buried supply chests. To a new life, Sarah. Locate treasure, 980 meters away. Alright, well, I guess we're going to go do Sarah's treasure map. In the middle of a horde night. I think we'll be okay. Can I take some more antibiotics? Take some more of those for some health. And then... Since I think that's all the zombies, we should be right to head on home and, and grab some uh, some bandages or whatever it is that we need to stop the bleeding. We need some food and water as well, which I didn't even think about. Let's come down here and drink some of this. Drink some of that. Drink some more. I don't know if I have any food. Rub that out, because I don't know if I actually have any. That I can use. And that'll heal us up. And then, what do we need? The sewing kit is what we need. Sewing kit, sewing kit, sewing kit. I don't see the sewing kit. There's the sewing kit. Alright, that'll stop our bleeding. We just need some food now. Uh... Get rid of that. Grilled meat, cook it all. I just need corn on the cob. Ear of corn and boiled water. Okay, cool. That's not that's pretty good actually. Does that tell us how much? Alright. Let's eat some of this. We're gonna wait for one more. Fish tacos, chili dog, nice, can of sham, blueberry pie. What was that noise? That scared me. I think it's just my imagination. Alright, let's grab some more meat here. I don't know if I have any more food in these chests. I'm going to say probably not. I would have seen them. I got some sham here. Leave that. I think that's it. Alright, well, I mean, Horde Night number two is done and dusted. Honestly, for the next one, I might bump it up a bit. I think we might make it a little bit more intense. I... I've, I, I don't know if it's just me, but I think the first one, the first one we didn't really know what to expect. And once again, I was expecting more zombies. Uh, this one, there were more zombies. But because we had the high ground, they weren't really able to do much to us. So I don't know if there's a setting that we can mess around with to change that. But I definitely kind of want to give it a more challenge and go for the next Horde Night. So the next Horde Night, I think, is day 21. Uh, let's head over here. Do I have my shovel? I got a shovel. Let's head over here to the treasure and see what we can find over here. Hopefully it's some good stuff. We're back to full health. 
pretty much full food and water, so we're not worried about that. And I don't see any more zombies. So that's good. What we might do as well, we might actually, you know what, we might do the hospital POI, which is in this town over here. I think we just ran past, yeah, bag. Duffel bag. Let's take a look. What do we got? Some water. Some empty water cans or whatever they are, which is great because we need as many of those as we can get for um, for the glue. I just don't know if we get the water, the, the jars back if we use it for glue, which is the bad thing, but I mean, we should be okay. I don't know how far her treasure map is. I don't think it's that far. Yeah, I think we're coming up on it here. All right, cool. Here it is. Hopefully we get some good stuff out of it. Oh no, further than I anticipated. But yeah, I think we might bump the hold settings up a little bit harder next time because I think... I don't know. We were we were running around and we were okay. So I think we could probably bump it up and make it a bit harder. I'm definitely glad we made the shotgun though. I don't think we would have survived if we hadn't made that shotgun. How far away is this? I thought it was like 900 meters. Oh god, it is pretty far away. Damn, alright. We're heading out here. We'll bring you guys back when we're out here. And then, yeah, I think we might try and do the hospital, which is this big old building over there. All right, here we go. We're here, guys. But uh, we got a lot of digging to do. We have a lot of digging. So, I mean, that's a kind of a good thing because we're going to get some clay soil. We're going to get some sand and all that sort of stuff. So, we're going to start digging and hopefully we can find the treasure sooner rather than later. All right, guys. We've just found the, the treasure. But we need... I didn't even think about it being locked. I don't have any pick up pick locks lock picks. Um, now I feel dumb. Uh, how the hell am I going to get into this chest? Uh, that is going to take us years. Um. I don't really want to have to go back and get freaking lock picks to come all the way out here. Like, I, I dug all the way from over here. Like, look how big the freaking pit was. <laughs> um, Alright, well, I'm going to have to go back and get a lock pick because there's no way we're going to be able to break into that. Plus, if I try and break into it now and we, we do it, well, I mean, I can't. I don't have a lock pick. But uh, it'll get rid of the marker, so we're not going to know where it is. So we're just going to have to come... Oh, man, that super sucks. I didn't even think about it being locked. Alrighty guys, we are back at the chest with our lock picks now, so... Here's hoping that, uh... We can get into it. Pick lock. I brought... I think we have 17 lock picks. I swear to God, if I've gone to all this trouble and we can't even pick this damn lock... <laughs> Come on, you good thing! If this only takes one lock pick... I think... Do we get the lock pick back if it doesn't break? Yes, looks like it. Maybe it's just because it's a... Oh, shizers, hello. Uh, 10k gold? I will take it. That's pure money. Thank you very much for that. That was definitely worth it. Okay, uh, cool. I am super glad that we decided to do that because, yeah, we just got 10k money. That we can use to purchase all the duct tape in the bloody world. Because that's what we are definitely going to do. I'm going to dismantle this bad boy here. Because I think if we dismantle stuff... Never mind. We're not going to dismantle this bad boy. Because I don't have a... Wrench. I found that if we dismantle the cars as we go along, it's better like that. Because I found that we're running out of gasoline a little bit. The mini bike... It's not that it's tearing through so much of it, it's just that we're using the mini bike, the mini bike to get around so much of the map that uh, we're just kind of burning through all our gasoline for it. So, I mean, we should be okay. But now, guys, we're going to head to the hospital. We're going to take a look through there. I, I'm pretty sure it's a massive building, so I don't know if we need to dedicate a whole episode to it. Or maybe we'll just loot some houses around the town and then the next episode we can go about doing the hospital. That might be the way to go. Um, I think we might actually do that because I feel like the hospital is definitely going to be something that's going to take us probably a whole episode to get through. So we'll see how we go. We, we are cold, so we kind of need to get inside and start looking for some stuff. I mean, well, I mean, just shading and out of the rain, I guess, so we're not cold. Because I think if we get too cold, we start taking health damage. But yeah, the hospital looks like a big building. 
So I think we might leave it till next episode. I might just search through these houses and see what we can find in. Because we've still got heaps of gear. Let's come inside here. Back off, you ugly mug. Batter up. Give me another treasure map. I mean, I'll take some gold and some steroids. I was hoping for another treasure map. Are we still getting wet through the house? Oh! Clean hit right off her. She is out of the park. We have a stainless steel refrigerator with some empty junk. A brass knob. I don't know what we're going to do with a brass knob. It's like shiner. Some nitrate. Any more cupboards that we can search? There's this one up here. I mean, we'll take the empty jars, because like I said, we can use that to, to get glue. I should probably take my time while searching this, because if I accidentally run into a zombie, we're going to be screwed. Oh, I can search this. Waste of my time. Because there's definitely more zombies in here. I can hear them. They're upstairs. Goodbye, family pictures. Alright, let's deal with this guy first. This lady, sorry, definitely sounded like a... Male. Oh, get knocked down. She's dead. Easy. All right. I'm not going to lie. This is... Uh, it's fun using blunt weapons. I feel like... I mean, we haven't really come across any bladed weapons. What have we... Like, the machete is the only thing I can think of that we've seen? So, like, we haven't really come across too many bladed weapons. All right. I feel like there's a way we can go that way. Let's come back over here, though. Never know. Fancy toilet. What do you got for me? Some murky water. I'll take it. Another medicine cabinet. Some random yucca juice. I think that was. Alright. Let's come back down here. 90% sure this will take us outside to the roof. Maybe. Maybe not. Is this the same? Is that just... Yeah, that's just there. Okay, so how do we get to the roof? There's definitely a roof up there. I don't think it's this way. Nope, that's a little escape exit. Do we have to do the same thing we did at that other house? Possibly, I think so. Nice, parkour. Oh, not parkour. Oh, not parkour at all. Okay, we fell. Yes, I know I'm cold. You keep reminding me. Um, Have I got wood? I do have wood. You know what? We're going to do a little bit of a cheeky cheeky here. Where's the entrance here? Can I not? Easy. Rooftop access. <laughs> now I feel like an idiot because there is absolutely nothing up here. I am dumb. <laughs> Kids, don't do what I did. Stay in school. Be smart. That was not smart. Alright, let's get down from here. Oh, shit. Yep. So that coming a mile away. I don't think I can make a splint. Lo and behold, my arch nemesis. Duct tape. I'm going to assume that I... Yeah, okay. Oh, man, this is so slow. I need to fix my leg. God dang it, this isn't how I wanted it to go. Alright, I'm going to go through the next house. I know we're super slow. I'm hoping that we'll find a splint or duct tape or something in here, hopefully. I mean, I can ride the bike. See that guy wandering over there? The one time I don't have a splint on me. We've had a splint on us for like ages now. The one time I don't have it on me, we freaking need it. Let's just hope I don't come across any... Super strong zombies, because I'm not going to be able to run away from them. I'll check this house and then we'll go. Oh, that's convenient. Hello, D. I'm home. And you're dead. Nice knowing you. Alright, I'm hoping I can find a splint in here. I don't think I will though. I'm a little nervous in case we get caught out here. Oh, man, this shotgun. I love it. I think, yeah, I think that's what we'll go for. I think we'll go shotguns and sledgehammers. 
I feel like they should be our go-to weapons that we'll put points into because they just are so satisfying. Some more ammo. I think I already have the boiled meat recipe, so like we don't need to worry too much about that. Some more food. Peas. Can I get some duct tape? Surely someone has to have some duct tape around here. There's got to be duct tape. I don't know if being incumbent makes me even slower. Would I say probably? Alright, we've got a basement down here. Surely there's some duct tape in here, right? Wait, what do those sunglasses give us? Fortitude? You having a bit of a snooze there, mate? Oh! Hot diggity, that would have hurt. Alright, we got some medical supplies. Splint! Damn it. I can't use it. We got a TV. We got a, This is a little gym. I just realized. And a water cooler. Not even giving her the opportunity to stand up. She's gonna get shut down. Any more of you back there? No, I don't think so. We got a medical supply thing in here. Please give me a splint. Come on, be good to me. Uh, this is definitely not going to contain a splint, is it? Some green alcohol. Let's check the workbench. We've got a shovel. Some clothes. Leather duster. Gothic boots. Where am I? I mean, I kind of like the... This one's a heat resistant one. The other one that we just picked up was a cold resist. So I feel like I should definitely take it. Ski goggles. I didn't even see us getting those. Drop those. I'm going to take this duster. That was the one we were wearing. Because we can use that in the desert if we go to the desert. I'm just going to crack this open because I can hear zombies coming in. Oh, we got a hammer. Nice. Um, I don't know if we need another shovel. I'm just going to eat this stuff because we need it. What are these? Hops? I'll take the shovel and the oil for now. Is there anything further in here? I know I should be taking up these bags of cement, but I'll come back for them. Shh. Nobody wake up sleeping beauty. Hold on, let me reload you. Boom! Didn't even get to move. Sorry, mate. I couldn't let you live. I don't know where the zombies are, but I can hear them. There is a tunnel. Where is this going to take us? Should I follow this tunnel? Is this just going to take us outside? Into another basement? I hope there's not going to be zombies to jump on, my, jump on me. I can hear him trying to break through stuff. Why does wood block not come up? Oh, it is. I'm just blind. Okay. I wasn't expecting... I don't know. Is there anything here? Some cement? Where's our bike at? Oh, this is like next door. You're not having a good time there, are you, mate? Did you die? Just to make... Just wanted to make sure. Okay, that takes us back down there. Did we search the roof? I feel like I didn't. Let's go in back in there. Why not? I know I'm just making this bone injury that we have worse, but I know I've got a splint back at the base, so it's just a matter of managing to get back there and the slow and tedious pro- oh, Jesus. What was your plan there? You are not smart at all. If you're gonna lunge out at me, at least land your bloody blow. I love this shotgun. This is so good. I actually have to hit my shots, though. So. Oh, but it's so satisfying to use. You're just hiding in an empty shelf. Yeah, all right. Let's head upstairs. We'll see what we can find upstairs. I don't think we can even carry that much, to be honest. I think we're pretty full. Hello? Zombos? I'm just waiting for them to burst out of there. Here's number one. She's dead. Come on, number two. Rise and shine. Don't know how the shotgun shells blowing off did not wake her up, but here we are. 
What have we got in the backpack? Some dye, we don't want it. Anything else in here? Nope. We've got some medical supplies, give me a splint. I tried. I really did. Alright, let's see what's in here. Anything? No? A big TV? Damn, whoever was in this room was happy. We've got a bookcase here. And what is this one? Hits with spears scored in quick succession do 10% more damage up to 30%. That's actually not too bad. And we've got a backpack in here. Some nerdy glasses. I feel like I should take these. Okay, there's got to be a way to get up top higher, right? Like, surely? Is it through here? Yeah, I'm going to say this is it here. I don't know. Did we, we didn't see this one. Nothing in here. Mm, some lead bobbers, which I'm not going to use. Come on, give me a splint. Ha! Yep. Give me that. Oh, hallelujah. I can freaking walk again. Although I think I still limp and I can break it again, can't I? Splinted leg, yeah. That's fine. At least I can freaking walk semi properly. All right, here's the entrance to the roof. Oh shit. This is not what we wanted. Did I kill them all? Okay, they're all dead. Woo! I just was worried about my leg for a second there. Still sounds like there's more in here. Yep. Hello, nurse. Wanna take a look at my leg? I don't think so. As, as attractive as you are with that green skin, I think I'm going to have to ask you to stay away from me. Oh, look, two more splints. I don't think I can use these. I feel like I should take them. I feel like they'll come in handy. Um, and what do we got back here? Some ammo. Take as much of that as I can. And I think that's it. There's a food supply. Someone was living up here. I'll eat all of this. And we'll take the beer. Alright, well, I mean, I think that was a pretty good haul. I don't think there's anything else in here. I need to rest my leg. But, uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with all the stuff that we got. So, guys, that's going to wrap the episode up here today. We're going to go back to base. I'm going to try and sort all that shit out in terms of storage that we've got out there because it's sort of afternoon, but we need to kind of... we don't. I don't know. I think I might need to turn the, the, the time down. Like how quick everything goes. Because, oh! Just because it seems like we're not able to get really anything done during the night. So I might slow down night time. So that it's longer. I don't know. We'll see how we go. But nonetheless, guys, hopefully you enjoyed Horde Night number two. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe down below for more. But other than that, guys, I will catch you in the next one.